So I guess I'll just uh, move right into today's presentation. Uh, Mike Vanelli, uh, he's a senior software developer here at W3I. He's going to be presenting on uh, some development with uh, Flash, Builder Burrito, Flex Hero, and ActionScript. So I'll uh, turn it over to Mike. Yes. 
assets, images. Uh, hey, Mike. Yeah. Sorry, I interrupt. Can you zoom in? Or no? Uh, I'm kind of zooming in. Are you unable to see? I need to withdraw this one. Um, okay, so let's we'll put finish.
first view is the first MXML file we're going to point to for display in the, in the navigation. So for navigation, it's a view navigator class. And the view navigator class basically controls all navigation within the application pointing to different views. So there's a few methods on that. There's push view, pop view, pop to first view, pop all. Pop all removes all views. Uh, pop to first view removes, or it just goes to the first view. And the system natively handles um, the back button, so it'll pop a view so that you go back to the previous view automatically. Now, the thing that's interesting is when you do push view, you can also push data. Data is any, an object that you want to push, any object that you want to push to consume in your next view. So, for instance, if I want a person in my next view, I just push the data, and that, regardless of if I pop that view, that data will be there the next time. So you can go back and forth, back and forth, that data will be there when you hit back. So that automatically loads, you don't have to sit there and call out to web services, whatever, again. So you can see that it automatically creates this structure here, default packages will hold your main and XML file, and then your views you have, this will be your first view right here. Now the structure of this, obviously view is a specific component, and then you can include any, say for instance I go to source, create a new folder,
what the idea is, we'll actually model generate methods for you. And the other thing is, you be activated where things exit. So if you have event listeners attached, that's where you want to remove them to prevent memory leaks, is in the view we activate. Now I'm going to go over a little bit of the actual theming and skinning of
these S states. I've got a flipped and I've got a normal. And then I define transitions, which have from state and to state, and then whether you want to auto reverse when you lose focus. So in this one, basically I have a parallel animation where I want to fade normal, and I also want to fade the uh, flipped version, and then I'm also going to rotate. So, to give you an example of this, so this is essentially what that code I just showed you does. So that one wasn't very useful because that didn't have any comments on it. So it's kind of pointless, but um, this is you can actually create a lot of different up to the foreground, a lot of different things that you can actually do with those in animations. Um, FX declarations. This is a spot where you can actually add like data in XML. So for instance, if I want to create a array
inside of my list, I'm using the layout and defining which way I want my uh, want my list to orient itself. Do I want it to orient by rows or columns? And like I said, this didn't work for me. Somebody online did it, but he also had the version where BlackBerry was a support system, so I'm guessing they probably fixed some sort of bug. Um, so this is just roughly the syntax of this layout that I'm
storage colon is to store it on your computer, so put it on your device. So if you want to add like an SQLite database or something like that to store information so you can look up later, access tokens to Facebook, Twitter, whatever, you can create a DB file and push it out into your app storage and link to that with an SQL connection in your Air application, which comes in really useful for anything that you need to keep in long-term state when you load your application again. So basically, you need to capture the image. Any other in general. So, like, when the user switches between internet and, uh, I mean, Wi-Fi and 3G, do you have to do anything to handle that or the device takes care of it? In no. general, like any other platform, yeah. That's automatically handled by the device. Um, there are different things you can 
check on, on the, the main object that contains your application as far as a class, the native application class, and that will have a event you can listen to for network change, and that that'll tell you when you lose or gain network connectivity. So you can actually check that if you want to when performing certain operations. The other thing that's kind of nice is there's I forget the exact name of it, but say you're using uh, an application that you don't want to ever fade off of the screen, you can actually lock the screen so that it stays on uh, with a specific property. I forget what it is off the top of my head. Are you talking about screen timeout or when no, you say fade off? It's not, it's not called screen timeout, but <coughs> something like
what all your graphics is to get rendered onto that your view sits on.
between the two chains where you want that graphics to go. One thing I noticed though, when we debugged it, it popped up like right away, the emulator. Yep. When I, I didn't try Burrito, but when I was uh, writing that Hello World app on the Android official website, mm -hmm. it takes like a minute to load the emulator for, on, on Eclipse. What were you loading? Who was this? Uh, what, what was that? What were you What kind of project? It was a simple Hello World. It's just it's like a native Android app? Yeah. Of course. That's a different potentially. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, but has anybody else tried that? I mean, I'm talking like close to a minute if I'm more. Install the SDK separately, or did Flash Builder have it built in? It installed it. It, it did for you? Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing that's nice is it was kind of funny the, the first uh, time when I when I installed the uh, Flash Builder Burrito, I got an update for it, and it, it was kind of funny because it lost all the Flash Builder skin. I'll go to Vince, Mike, like, you're, you know, you've built an app and uh, your phone rings. You get, like, something called on your app that was an event fire that lets you know. So 
that's split back to memory. That, see, that's somewhere where I'd like to see them actually have better integration. Is they don't have very good integration into like the actual system itself as far as. So I want to bring up the, the settings dialog, or I want to bring up, you know, I want to bring up the whatever, you know, program or you know, things like that. It doesn't actually, the only things that it has, like I said, are camera, geo, accelerometer, uh, you can go to the browser, um, you can actually, there's a component called the stage web view. Mike, do you know when the release date is for the official release date for Burrito? Uh, um, How long has it been out?
Oh, does it? I don't know, does it? Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs>